You right there ladies and gents, how's it going? I'm out on the Beta, as you can see my little Beta 390RR it's three years old this month, or at the beginning of this month, so I've had it three years. And uh, in the UK, once a vehicle is three years old, it needs an annual test. So I'm heading over to T North East, which is my favourite place for MOTs, to, uh, to get it sorted. And uh, yeah, I'll report back once it's done. But why have I got you with me for this? I've got you with me for this so I can, one, show you how it gets on with the MOT, obviously. And two... Uh, the bike is basically for sale it's not advertised yet but it is basically for sale so um, it allows me to show you the bike and tell you a little bit about it the stats and figures and the bits I've bolted on and all that sort of stuff as well so uh, yeah keep watching we'll find out if we pass the test it should do can't see any reason why it wouldn't and I'll also walk you around the bike as well now I do actually have an MOT test in place closer to home than T North East but I just like T North East and they are also I believe Fantic dealers um, I think so uh, if that's the case I'm going to ask them about the new Caballero 700 which is uh, due imminently um, yeah assuming that they are Fantic dealers and all that stuff right, let's get off this bike let's get off this bike Okay, so this is the bike. Um, I'll just do a quick walk around. As you can see, it's still filthy. I haven't cleaned it, but I will do that before um, anyone buys it. Uh, so what have we got? We've got the suspension lowered by two inches for my stumpy legs, and yours if you're a shorter of nature too. Um, so that might help you. Um, so yeah, it's a bit lower. It's got a, a low seat. But it's a comfort seat. This is the Seat Concepts um, comfort seat low, which is great. I mean, the original seat comes with the bike, but it's like a plank. It's like a plank. And these things are a bit expensive, but well worth the money if you ask me. Um, as you can see, it's got the Stegs pegs. These things here, which I think are wonderful. Um, I use them all the time um, for climbing hills and stuff like that. Just allows you to relieve your arms. So you, it stops you getting arm pump and stuff like that. All the plastics are original. I've not needed to change anything on it. I've not crashed it particularly other than once um, around the COVID time where it, it went over on tarmac. I think I hit a patch of ice or slush or something like that and it went over. But no mega damage other than a little bit of scuffing on these acrobis, if that's how you pronounce them, handguards, which uh, I've put on the bike from new. Um, I've got like little uh, pulling straps and stuff like that, front and rear, um, and I'll even throw in this Induristan bag for those that want it, if they want it. Uh, yeah, what else? Um, we've got um, bulletproof designs, radiator braces on there, and we've got a uh, extended foot peg um, for the brake lever, extended brake lever, and um, a nice metal sump guard there with the uh, uh, a linkage protection for the suspension on the back. So um, yeah, it's a lovely little bike. Oh, it's also got new tyres on it. Um, they've not done many miles, and it's fitted with the tubeless system front and rear. Yes. Um, obviously all the camera type stuff, all the round mounts I'll be taking off. I'll take off the quad lock mount, but I'll leave on the uh, USB there, um, which uh, connects up somewhere around here. Uh, it's down, down here. Uh, that's where the USB sits, so you can run power to it if you want to, um, charge your phones and all that. Anyway, right, I'm going to go in and get this MOT sorted. I'll be back in a minute. Keep that bar. Down. Right, so MOT accomplished. Um, had two advisories, um, nothing mega, but uh, just uh, the steering head bearings are a little bit notchy. Um, so I'll uh, maybe have a look at that, maybe repack them with grease and see if uh, that's something I can fix easily enough. And he also said that the front wheel bearings are uh, just a little bit, a little bit tired. Um, but advisories rather than uh, problems. Anyway, thank you T North East. It's always good to know that your bike's okay. Right then, so that is uh, my Beta 390RR with 
its first MOT, ticking the box done, nice, awesome. Two advisories of the uh, steering bearings and the front wheel bearings, um, but only advisories, they're not, they're not like worn worn, they're just showing signs of wear. I believe the wheel bearings are pretty easy to do. I'm not going to do it on just an advisory, but uh, I will let whoever buys the bike know that that's come up on the MOT. And I will have a look at seeing if I can do something about the steering bearings, because uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's dirt based that. I, I, I don't wheelie the bike. Um, yeah, I imagine it's just grit in it. So uh, I'll, I'll try and give it a clean out and a re-grease and hopefully that will sort, sort that one out. But anyway, if you are interested in this motorcycle, do drop me a private message on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter or something like that. Or if you're watching this after seeing the advert for the bike, do reach out to me if it's something that you think you might want. Um, yes, it's a lovely little bike. I will be sad to see it go, but my Aprilia, my Aprilia does everything really that I need from an off-road motorcycle. It's just a little bit harder to do it than it is on this. Um, and this is a lot of money to have tied up in a motorcycle for the amount of use it gets. I think I only rode it five times last year. I'll have to double check and count the videos that I've posted on my YouTube channel of this bike because I didn't go out on this bike, I don't believe, without the cameras last year. I don't think I did. I might have gone out once. So it kind of shows how much use the bike has had over the last year, doesn't it really? And it shows just how good that pretty Touareg is. <laughs> that, that I wouldn't have felt the need to jump on this one to do trail riding. Anyhow, Zools, that's it, that's the video. So, um, if you haven't done so already and you're interested in uh, seeing all my other bikes that I've got up for sale, do click that subscribe button. I'll be doing very similar with each one of them um, over the weeks. I'm in no rush to send any of them, so those videos will just go up as and when. Um, I'll probably not put them in on my schedule, I'll just put them in as bonus videos. Uh, but yeah, so uh, there'll be other videos of the bikes I'm selling coming up soon. Um, loads of other content, loads of trail riding and fun and camping trips and all that sort of stuff. So if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button, you're gonna love it. Oh man, traffic! Right, well traffic's rubbish, filtering's not, but um, yeah. Anyhow, uh, click that like button if you like the video, if you like the beta, if you like anything motorcycly. Um, click a thumbs down if you don't and you smell a cabbage of wee and all that rubbish. And uh, yeah, whatever you do, drop in a comment, it'll be great to hear from you. Yeah, if you've got any questions about this bike, feel free to drop them down below in the comments. Um, but yeah, do reach out to me on the social medias, um, just because it's easier to discuss things that way. Easier to discuss things, isn't it? Alright, you ride safe, take care, and I shall catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye for now. No, you gotta keep that bar. Rubber side down.